Hey everybody, I'm Jack Reedy with Future Pastimes. I'm a designer on Dune-themed games and expansions, and I wanted to do a video to review some recent token inserts that I received. Now these are from Ben Lynch, who currently does not have an Etsy store or any way that I know of to order these, but it is something he's thinking about doing, and he may end up kind of partnering with Zoltan. So stay tuned to this channel. Uh, if he comes up with a link or some kind of solution, I will share that information. But these are token inserts, uh, very similar to the ones that are currently are unavailable, but these are stackable in that once they stack up, they stay stacked. Um, so they're very handy. I really like these. Um, as a comparison... These Fremen ones are the other ones, but they don't stack. So um, they are nice in that uh, it helps differentiate the colors, uh, especially for like Tlilaxu and Ikaz. Um, but, uh, and while they are still tactile, um, they're easy to knock over. So when you have a stack of them, they are going to fall. Um, these, these do not fall. I mean, they're, they're at an angle right there. Sh shake them up, move them around. They are still well stacked. Um, similar to the other ones, the starred ones come in stackable stars. So these stack as well. You can stack them together with the other ones if you so choose. No, well, these don't actually stack that way. Well, no, they do. There you go. So there you have it. Um, they stack and you can easily tell, okay, some of those are starred and some are not. Um, so those are handy as well. What I will say is that they are ultimately bigger. So let's do a comparison here. Um, they're kind of bigger around. You can you can see if you put that one on there. So on the normal map, they're going to take up more room in your strongholds and your territories. I, of course, have the double-sized mat, so these are actually perfect. Um, and I thought I'd show off the Bene Gesserit. So here is a stack of five. They stack very nicely. Uh, underneath see-through so it's uh it's got an opening so that you can tell the different states of your fighters and your advisors so yeah these are magnificent i'll give you uh here is a uh, wallach nine so that's five of them stacked up there you can kind of see how much space they'll take uh let's take up on here it's fine. I mean, like I said, diameter is a little bit bigger. It's certainly bigger than the tokens without any inserts, um, but it's pretty uh, reasonable. And again, as a comparison, I've kept the faction markers in the old ones. So I'll try to get you a nice side by side. So it's a little bit bigger. Uh, you can kind of you can kind of tell. Not by much, though. So um, yeah, these are great. <laughs> I wish I could say. Go get them. Here they are. But what I will say, and this is one of the reasons why Ben has been a little reluctant to jump right in, although I told him I think people are going to want them anyway, but um, I'm going to definitely recommend something like this for the Kwisatz Haderach edition. I know that some people uh, like the idea of the individual forces, kind of like what Jay has. He's shown those uh, at Gen Con and uh, pictures on Facebook, and uh, there may be some on Board Game Geek as well. Um, they are pretty cool, but the individual ones trying to fit them, you know, onto, uh, the board, uh, takes up a lot more real estate. And when you've got multiple factions in there and visors, yeah, it's a little bit, it's a bit much. So I prefer the, the circular tokens. And if they're in a stackable little casings like these, that's, that's the way to go. In my opinion, let me know in the comments what you think and why you would argue for the little miniature forces um over stackable ones uh i'm curious to hear i know which way i i go i've played with both kinds i had played with somebody else who had individual forces that he had um culled from another game and he had enough in the right colors so that we could play with those factions um but i like these and uh i had to painstakingly pop them out of the old ones and into the new ones in order for the game of dune that we played today um, and everybody playing really enjoyed the stackable tokens. It was one of the highlights uh, of a otherwise very quick game. Turn two for the Bene Gesserit stronghold victory. Um, yeah, they're way off in their prediction, but 
So what? Um, so there you have it. That's it for this one, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.